Hi everybody, um, it's Miles here again. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions on my uh, hydrogen generator. I'll just take out my BMW mask so I can show you a little bit better. Okay, a lot of people have been asking me about the wiring. Now, it's very simple. You've got negative and positive. That's all you have. And of course you've got neutral plates. Now what I've done here is, I've got blue, I've got brown and blue, okay, brown and blue wires, that's all I have. The brown wire is the first wire, which I made a positive wire. Then I've got, let's, let me just count it, I've got one, two, three, I've done, I've put three neutral plates which have no wires connected whatsoever, okay? And then I've got a blue wire which is a negative wire, okay? Then I've got the neutral plates again, three neutral plates, and then a brown wire which is a positive wire. There you go. And then the blue again. Then the brown, blue, brown, and I've finished off with a blue negative wire. Okay, I started with a positive wire and finished with a negative wire. Some people finish, start with positive, finish with positive. Some people start with negative and finish with negative. I've done it this way. Okay, now, these wires... The blue wire is connected to this bolt here. Hope you can see it. Okay. Now that bolt has another wire going to my chassis. It's connected down there to my chassis. Okay. Now this brown wire, the positive wire, is going up here. See it here? And it goes to my... goes to my brown wire here for the light now when I turn on my lights my hydrogen starts working when I turn them off my hydrogen uh, turns off as well so I don't have no switches and I think that's safer than having a switch because the switch sometimes can burn melt because sometimes these hydrogen uh, fuel cells they put off a lot of heat in the wires and if you're not careful and if you're putting out too much amps, it is very dangerous for your wires, for the car's wires. You can melt them. It's no good. Okay? Now, use quality wires. These are pretty thick uh, wires. They're not those uh, cheapo wires. This is pretty thick wire. Now, that's how I wired it up. Now, some people have been asking me... Um, what materials did I use? Well, as you can see, um, I've got, what's this called again? Oh, my God. Plexiglass. Um, it depends how much you're going to want to, uh, I don't know, use or um, how thick you want to do it. Mine's about a centimetre thick. This one as well. Um, I think it's about 15 by 10. Yep, 15 by 10. And the plates, um, I don't know how how long and how wide they are, but I know they're a millimetre um, thick. And please don't use cheapo stainless steel plates. Use um, 318 or higher. Don't use nothing um, less than that. Or you're just going to start heating them up and then they're just going to put rust or whatever it is in there because they're not pure stainless steel. Um, what else do I have? I have cables going, pipes going to my bubbler. There's my bubbler. Then from the bubbler, it's going to my air intake down here. If you can see it, there it is, right in there. 
Okay, um, I'm not using baking soda, I'm using um, NOH0, I think it is. NAH0 or something like that. I'm using that chemical and I think it works fine. Now, I live in a city in which has a lot of hills, and when you're driving, um, you really, really consume a lot of um, petrol. Now, when I turn this hydrogen uh, generator on through the city, um, I'm not really getting... Uh, it's not reducing my fuel consumption, I can tell you right away. It is reducing my fuel consumption when I'm going on the highway to another city or from one side of this city to the other. Um, it does, you can see that it is um, reducing your consumption, fuel consumption. Now the way it's reducing your fuel consumption isn't the way that you think. You are still using the same amount of fuel as always. Okay? Now what it's doing is, it's giving you more power to the motor where you don't have to give it more gas. You give it less gas. Okay, it's not reducing no fuel consumption, it's just giving you more power to the engine where you don't have to push the throttle further than you had when you didn't have the, um, uh, the generator. That's all it's doing. Now maybe, maybe these little gadgets, these computers or chips, whatever people are saying on the internet that you can put in where it's going to reduce your fuel consumption, I don't know, I haven't tried it. Um, I don't trust those gadgets where you have to do things to your car, especially, you know, screw around with your computer and it could do you good for one thing and mess up something else. So I, w I don't recommend that. It's really up to you. It's your decision. It's your car. Um, yeah, I don't put any of those gadgets into my BMW. Um... I do it the natural way. If it works like this, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But like I said, it does work on the highway. It does not work around the city. Because you're always going and stopping, going and stopping. And I haven't seen no improvement whatsoever around the city. But I can tell you, when I go on the highway, there is a big improvement around 30% proven and that's all I can say try it make it I've been um, experimenting a lot uh, with this I've been even using aluminium aluminium don't work it just burns away melts away the plates um, I've been trying a lot of different um, chemicals baking soda and all that I didn't like it now this one is working for me and I'm proud of this one that I made so if you're going to make one I don't really know what site I can um, tell you to go on and have a look um, every site is telling you differently the best thing to do is make your own generator test it yourself and see what works for you because I think every car is different and every car is going to work differently that's all I can say. If you do have any questions, subscribe. Um, uh, let me know how your generators are going. But, yeah, a lot of people have been asking me for the wiring. I've done the wiring. I've just showed you how they are all connected. Like I said, I used blue for negative, um, brown for positive, And the brown goes to my wire that is, at the moment dead because the car's not running the lights aren't on as soon as I turn the car on 